no way. I've never went to like a formal car dealership where they sell one specific model of car. So we went to Isuzu, we were trying our cars. It's brand new. So it's only been open a few months. And this is one of the largest Isuzu service centers. You can buy a car in Zim because most of the times, like, people have adapted to buying cars in South Africa and Johannesburg and stuff. So now, like, we have access to those things here. And not only do you get uh, to buy a car, you also get it serviced with professionals. That brand new car smells very important. Oh, I like that smell. I, I got like a, yeah. I feel like I, I would consider buying an iSuzu. It's very strong. And you don't have to service it a lot. It's not just a pickup. It also offers luxury and sustainability as well. Ooh. And it's got that new car smell. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. I've never been in a, a, a Suzu before. Toyota girl. Oh yeah? Yeah, but let's check this, let's check this out. You wanna connect? Let's connect to some music. Cause the acoustics need to be on point, right? Yeah. That was pretty simple. Yeah. That's actually the easiest pairing I've ever yeah, done. Yeah, normally it's the way. Yeah. Searching, searching. So we've got our service counter, so if you're bringing your vehicle in for a service, uh -huh. so you come and see these guys. This is where you start, yeah. A lot of our customers book their vehicles in advance. You can book through our website, make a phone call, send an email, because the workshops here are quite busy. But yeah. if you come here, you check your vehicle in, in the check-in centre, it gets left here, and then they call you when it's done. Oh, they got that juice over here too? Yeah, I do. So they have it everywhere? Well, pretty much. This is like the national drink, Mazoli. There's no Zimbabwe without Mazoli. So you find that, you find it everywhere. Yeah, you gotta try it. So what do you do? You pour it over the there? Yeah, you pour it in there and then you put water. Put the juice first and then you put oh, water. You put the juice yes. Sure, you put some water in. <laughs> I think you need more water than that, right? This is the local drink, right? Yeah, this is the local drink for Zoe. So it comes in different flavors actually. But the orange one is nah, most is people's rice. favorite. There's peach, there's raspberry. Cream soda. Oh, no. No, 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 no. And an orange. Orange is probably the gold. Yeah, oh, yeah. Orange is the original flavor. Oh, this is not me. That's not you? No. Who is this? Who is this? You say apple problems? Yeah. Hey. We get Watch those. Watch out. I'm saying, no. I won't let you pair. Let me try Team Android for the win. 
<laughs> for the dub. I mean, if it's if it's a win, it's a win. For the dub, you see. I like that. Yeah. Who am I gonna the, deny the truth or facts? Nah. This is this is. I think this pairing will work. This this one here. Come for a walk. Let's go. So as you can see, there's the Chevrolet. There's the Chevy. So that's a Trailblazer. Yeah. That's a Trailblazer. It's an older version. So when General Motors pulled out, that got swapped out with the new Suzu SUV, the MUX. So they're very similar cars. We used to sell Chevrolet a lot here. A lot of the smaller cars, the hatchbacks, the sedans, um, and then the Trailblazer was probably the biggest one. And then we have a fully dedicated truck center next door. That's part of us, but we service all the big trucks there. This is probably one of the biggest ones. That's an eight and a half ton truck. Um, we do cater for bigger ones. Engine overhauls, basic service, transmissions, everything. We've got a whole dedicated engine room that we can rebuild the whole engine from scratch if we need oh, to. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Wow. There's a lot we can do here. Okay, that sounds like something's happening. There we go. Uh-huh. Apple problems. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear some Zimbabwean hip hop? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Checking out the sound system, hearing some Zimbabwean hip hop. Same fuck, main squad, say lot, but flop, ain't what I'm on, aim up. Don't stop, we be leveling, proceeds increase heavily. Don't need this man's energy, I be the one, be the one. So, what are your hours here? So we operate at the moment only Monday to Friday. So we open early, as early as 6.30, 7 o'clock, and we close at 5. Oh, um, yeah. We are contemplating the odd Saturday morning, but at the moment, yeah, there's, there's enough work to do Monday to Friday. So you don't have to work on Saturday. It's a plus, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have the weekends off. When they've selected a car, uh, if we don't have it in the country, we order it through Suzu in South Africa. And how do they select, like online? People do a lot of research online, okay. um, but we've got enough sort of cars at the showroom to for show the to difference, or there's yeah. enough images available for them to look at yeah. as well. Yeah. Tom, where are we going? Oh, we're going out. Okay. We're going off road. All right. I hope you got your um, <laughs> outdoor stuff. Um, no. Not quite. Not but quite. I'm sure you've got me. So we'll do outdoor light. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can do that. Um, the terrain here is beautiful. In the province that I live in, Ontario, Canada, it's very flat. Um, so I find when I go to travel, I really enjoy seeing like mountainous regions, um, so that was like eye candy to me. Also coming from a mental health background, I know how important it is to be able to see uh, sights of nature like this. So anytime that I get a chance, it just puts me in awe. Originally, I'm from that side of Zimbabwe. I am um, Manika, which is a tribe from the Eastern Highlands in, in Zimbabwe. So. It's, it's always a coming home sort of scenario for me. But every time you go, it's, it's always very awe-inspiring just to see how wonderful and wondrous nature can be. And also to then see people's reactions who have never seen something like that before. Oh, shit. Yeah. I think it's also very, it gives you a sense of pride about your country and what we have here, which we may take for granted sometimes, and which some people don't even, haven't even had the experience to see, even though they are from here. I've never been to Nyanga before. Beautiful scenery, before we even got to Mutara as a falls. Beautiful scenery, like it just entices you from the get-go, from the journey of it. So I, I, I'm very privileged as well to have been able to experience that and I thank uh, Jetlag for making that happen. We get to Mutara as a falls. I was not expecting that. Of course I know Zimbabwe is beautiful but it felt like it's a whole different world. The cliffs, the way the trees are parted, is gorgeous. It is gorgeous, like the scenery. I did fall asleep because that was a long ride, so after checking out the scenes, I, I did close my eyes. That was a long trip. And I needed the rest because we had to hike to our zip lining spot um, in the hot, hot sun. 
Uh, but that was that was a fun journey as well. Hey, okay, well, you know what? I could use a cold drink. <laughs> Fresh spring water after this. Yeah. The sun is hot. No, it's really... And it's that humid heat, I guess, because we're at altitude. Ah. The hike was pretty tough, uh, just because it was really hot and humid at the same time. Always remember to hydrate, but it was well worth it. Just as you, as you go down and the view opens up and you see all of these mountains and the valleys and the waterfall coming out of the rocks, it, it, it's just so beautiful. Yeah, so just like the height of the waterfall, was, I, I've never seen anything like that. Um, so the hike was well worth it. Just seeing like, you know, God's creativity at its finest, you know, surreal, you know, it's just it's like, man, places like this really exist. You know, I'm not even a big nature guy, but just, just sitting there and just marveling, like I said, and, you know, at God's creativity and this, this beauty is just, you know, it was, that's cool to me. But the highlight definitely was the zip line, which, little known fact, the hike to the zip line plat platform is even harder than the other section that we hiked. I'm a daredevil, so I approached it like, yeah, of course I'm gonna go zip line. But once we got to the top and then I saw that huge, it was just massive. Um, so I got a little intimidated when it was my turn to go. And it takes a lot to um, convince yourself and decide to like literally jump off the edge. But once I did, it was just, it was amazing. I couldn't stop screaming the whole time. The nerves are checking in. Ah, you even feel tears coming to my eyes. Are you serious? You know you're good though. You know you're good, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well. Our guide from far and wide was actually very, very good. He made you feel at ease. He talked you through everything, and he was a good sport in that he was holding the camera and taking the footage for us too. Toronto, this is for you. <laughs> <laughs> She's about to go 350 meters. Three, 350 meters deep, 400 meters Woo! across. <laughs> oh, okay. Actually, more specifically, Scarborough. What up? This is for you. Oh, yeah. Okay. She's like Eric. For Scarborough. Flatbush. 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 <laughs> Brooklyn. Brooklyn, stand up. <laughs> Why ain't you repping Philly, though? Oh, what's what wrong you, with what do you, you mean? You see, I got an eagle. Oh, you got the eagle. Okay, about? my bad, my so, bad. Who told us this guy like nice? Just really guys to have fun. Right, three, one. Winnie thought I was screaming out of fear and was making fun of me. <laughs> but I just, I just had to express my, my wonder and, and awe because it was, it was nothing I've ever seen before. I would do it again if we had the chance. That was magnificent. Like, you would do it again. Yeah, I couldn't believe my eyes. I'm screaming like, what? I conquered my fear of heights today. Partly because I had an energy drink, so my adrenaline was a bit high, but also because of the beauty. Like, it's not just like a cliff that is scary. It's also like how it just flows down. It's beautiful. And I got to do zip lining for the first time today, and I did pretty good. I didn't scream, I didn't cry, I didn't chicken out. So yeah, I'm gonna give myself props to that. I don't care what you all say. <laughs> I told myself that I was not going to look down, uh -huh. but I looked down, it's so beautiful down here. Just being in a different environment and really just seeing, you know, all of God's beauty, um, all the nature we got to see, um, and it's, it's nothing else like it. Yay! Spark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you 
it's nothing like it. I'm telling you, you gotta face your fears and just try it. You, you gotta just do it. <laughs> you gotta just do it. I, I feel like, you know, like there's certain things that we limit ourselves in life, but like after you're done doing it, it's like, oh, okay, this is awesome. I should have done this way back. I, I, I enjoyed the, the zip lining. Once you take off and you go, like it's just it's just the vibes you're just enjoying the moment just seeing everything around you unfortunately for me somehow i started spinning at some stage as i was going through it so my view became a 360 uh, forced view versus me turning left and right to see what i wanted to but not in a scary way you just you know force of gravity, momentum, some physics was at play. And I actually, when I landed on the other side of the platform, I was facing the direction I came from, which didn't happen with anyone else. It was, it was amazing. It was actually. amazing? Too quick, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, like I think, but I liked it maybe another 100 meters. Oh, wow. Just because. You're trying to see everything, I and mean, then I was spinning as well. But it was still really good fun, and I'm, I'm so glad that I was able to do it. Take that off the bucket list, done. Me and Sterling had great conversations walking there, because he was telling me about a lot of things, like how he likes his women to be adventurous, to not be closed-minded, so I was like, okay. You know what, I better do that zip line to prove to this man that I'm open-minded and I'm willing to try new things. That's exactly what I did. I think that kind of made us bond as well. The fun part about it, when now you're going back to the parking space, it's like a steep. So you have to like be climbing up the mountain. And guess what Sterling does? He carries me up to where we were parked. Yeah, he literally carried me at the back. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. I like that. <laughs>